Three, two, one, go. What's up, guys? So I'm here at my desk. I'm going to try to sand down my Baymax. It's been curing for about a week because I haven't been able to get to it. So it's been out in the sun. But we got some nice parts. And I'm just going to sand them down and see if they fit together. So here's my little workspace. So I have some sandpaper and we're just going to see how it goes. All right, so welcome to, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm gonna put this on and I think I'm gonna try and wet sand my sandpaper. I don't know if I need a lower grit or a higher grit, but I don't know. So we have our sandpaper here, 2,500, 400. Oh, so this is really fine. This is really rough. There we go, that's a little better. So let's cut these. Here's his head, body. All right, so here's some water. So I guess I just put this in here, I suppose. And then just sand away. And we'll see if it smooths. Try to focus again. I've never really sanded anything before. I sanded much. I see some different, like the coloration is a little weird. It is much more smooth than it was. Yeah, I definitely need something to smooth easier. Oh, I'm already like tired. I do have a little machine that I can probably do this with. Feel free to tell me easier ways to do this stuff. That's not bad actually. I don't know how this is going to fit. Oh, I still have some supports in there too. I have to get them out. Okay. Supports. Supports. That'd be good if I glue that in. That'd be nice. It'd be better if I angled this down. So instead of going in this way, if this part was on an angle like this direction, that way it could just go in and be a little more set. But I can probably just like either glue that in. Yeah, because it just comes right out. And maybe a square is better. All right, so here's the little head. I do have a little thingy that might actually help with this. Let's see if it works. All right, so we're gonna pop this open and see how well it works. All right, I don't know if there's any batteries in it. Oh, I think it's rechargeable. Oh, there's like a little light. I got some little pieces in here. These are like little sanding pieces. And I got some little these thingies. I should read the directions. I think I did this right. Again, I want to make sure it's wet. I do have another arm somewhere. Here it is. So this will give us a good... Use a little more pressure and see what's going on. This thing works really well. I like it. But it might be easier to sand this with the bigger... I gotta clean up real quick. This is not a great place to be doing this. Okay, so I just had to clean up a little bit. I think it looks good. Obviously I have to uh, prime it and all that good stuff. Let me make sure there's no more things in there. We'll just see how it fits. I mean, that's what, I don't know what happened to the other one. It must've be, must just been like my error or something. So I think this way, it kinda works. Oh, this is the this is the front. That will go in like that. Okay. Not too bad.
pretty cool. Pretty happy with this so far. So I think I just need to dry everything, get it cleaned up, and then get everything painted. Primed at least. So it looks pretty good. Probably going to uh, prime and then paint. I did get my airbrush. So I'm going to prime it with a spray can outside and then I'll get my airbrush and I'll do that. So that will be the next the next step of this little Baymax. But it's coming together really well uh, so far. What's up guys? Welcome to another exclusive Skillshare class with me, Drug Free Dave. Today we're going to be doing another fan art creation. This is a Disney character from Big Hero 6 called Baymax. Now I think he's a really cool character. I had a really fun time creating him and I think you will too. So just like with all of my 3D sculpts, I'm going to start from the very beginning, from setting up the projects to blocking out shapes, modeling, sculpting, details, lighting, post-process. We're going to cover all of that, but we're going to go through it one step at a time. So what you're seeing now is an actual time lapse of the class. So everything that you're seeing here, you will learn. And it's a great way to learn how to think and process what you're seeing, whether it's something in real life or a 2D image or character, how to translate that into 3D. So thank you all for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the time lapse. I hope you're excited to get started. I hope you're excited to learn because I'm excited to teach. So let's move on to the next video, class project.